it's week in, week out. I think up here, obviously, the likes of Martin Boyle, he's going to test the fences. That's what he's got. He's got that raw pace. But down here, the, the fullbacks are used to it. They are indeed. I do think uh, John McGinn's about to join us. John, how you doing? Well, back at Easter Road, uh, did you enjoy the occasion? Oh, it's the most nervous I've been for a game in a long time. <laughs> really? Yeah, I had butterflies today, speaking to Alan earlier. Strange, really strange being in the away dressing room. Obviously, we were in it with St Mirren, but I had a special three years here. Um, and strange to be back, but a uh, good result for us in the end. You did have such a special time here, and I've heard you sp speak really fondly about the club. What was it about the Bernian that made you enjoy your time here so much? Well, it suited me and it suited them. Uh, I was at a bit of crossroads in my career. They gave me a platform to go and show what I could do. Um, the supporters took to me very early, but not only that, um, the club appreciated that I wanted to kind of step forward and, and try and move up the levels, and they respected that. Um, I picked the right moment for them, and picked the right moment for myself, sure. and it just went uh, went smoothly. Out with the first probably 15 minutes, where they maybe caused you one or two problems, it looked to us like you had plenty in the tank, you had another couple of gears. If need be, you could have went up. I second half, probably. Uh, I told the boys, I said, don't disrespect tips, because you'd be surprised and I think the first 10-15 minutes didn't matter you can tell the boys that are blue in the face they'll be surprised and we were surprised the first 10-15 um, <laughs> they're giving you a bit joy <laughs> want me to help you out I was surprised <laughs> to see you getting the odd bit of sticks no, I like, I like that. This is an important, it was an important game for him so uh, I'd rather be treated like an opponent I didn't want that kind of feeling but I got a nice reception at the end but like Alan said I, we did have probably a, another couple of gears probably last 10-15 minutes but the important thing for us was to win in the, in the clean sheet. John, I mean, look, obviously, it, the, the tie's effectively over, and as much as you don't want to disrespect Hibs, I'm sure the aspirations for Aston Villa, and Alan's been touching on this as well, is that you've got a manager with European experience. Do you guys privately look at this competition as one that you can go on and challenge for? I don't think there's any secret. He's he's very passionate about European competitions, got a great record. Has uh, it been but, spoken about? Yeah, aye. I, I think it would be stupid to try and get away from it I think we're, we're up there with one of the two or three favourites but he'll treat every single game the same we'll go to places that are really really tough to play and it's not going to be easy it doesn't matter that we're the, probably got the highest budget or one of the highest budgets in the competition you need to respect every team and that's what we'll do in fairness to him tonight really strong team and, uh, and we did respect Tibbs and, and we probably after the first 10-15 minutes showed our class and, and deserved it I remember you telling me about just what you thought of and I, Emery, as a coach, as a manager, what is it that sets him apart for you from what you've had previously as a manager? It's his tactics. You see, I think a lot of the game I was kind of standing still. It's uh, not like it, that. <laughs> no, but just so much detail. You see um, the, def the defenders waiting on the striker pressing. Sort of the Spanish way, I think, when we were growing up. Uh, you take more than two touches, three get part, and you get the, get the shins taken off you. But, um, <laughs> He wasn't happy the first half. He thought we could have been a lot calmer on the ball, and we kind of get sucked into the atmosphere a wee bit. But he's a he's a mental tactician and does a lot of detail. Yeah, let's just take a look at uh, another.